Hey, 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 pedal people, it's Pedal Guy here. How you doing? Today what we're going to do is we're going to check out how to use the FS3X foot switch with the Trio Plus. But before we get started, please take a second and click on that subscribe button down there and ring that bell so you can stay up to date with all of our videos. And if you're watching this on Facebook or Instagram, be sure to like and follow us so you can stay up to date with all of our activities. Well, this is an essential add-on tool for the uh, Trio Plus, as well as some of the other pedals that Digitech makes, like the Strum, uh, the Jam Man series. Uh, it enables you to access some of the features that would be otherwise difficult to do if you just were limited to the two foot switches that are on the pedal, or the one foot switch in some cases that are on the pedal. Um, so as far as the Trio Plus goes, you have three different modes that you can access by using the three foot switches here. Mode one, mode two, and mode three. Otherwise known as live default mode, tabletop mode, and uh, live mixer mode. And the way that you access it is by using the supplied TRS cable. This does come with the FS3X, so don't worry, they don't leave you hanging. You just simply hold down the mode that you want, plug it in, and now you're in that mode. Simple as that, they couldn't have made it any easier. Um, and so at this point now, what I'm gonna do is take you through the three different modes, show you how they work, and uh, we'll go from there. The first mode we're gonna check out is called Live Default Mode. And this is the mode that happens when you first plug the FS3X into the Trio Plus. Um, you don't actually have to hold the mode switch down when you do it, just simply plug it in and you're already set to go. So you have three different foot switches for three different parameters. You have Style, you have Part, and you have Alt Time. So if we start playing back, and we want to change the uh, style, just simply use the mode switch here on the far left. You can see it's changing right there as I move along. If I want to go back, I just press and hold. And there you go. Now the second switch here, the down switch, is used to change parts. So if I press this, you'll see that part two is now queuing up and ready to go. And now it switches to it. If I want to switch back, just hit the down button again. And now it's gonna queue up part one. And as soon as it recycles, it'll go right to it. Now the final thing is, uh, the final function is the alt time which is over here on the far right. Press this. And it triggers the alt time feature. Which may or may not work for you. Now, if you want to count off, here's a neat little tidbit. If you want to count off before the trio starts playing back, just simply press and hold the down switch. And what you're gonna see is the part blinking here um, which tells you that, well, you are in count off mode. So if we hit the band button, there you have it. And if you stop, you'll notice that it's not blinking anymore, meaning that it's not just going to start. Uh, it's not going to do that every time you want to, uh, you know, have a count off. You have to hold down the foot switch, the down foot switch first, and then go ahead and trigger off. Okay. So let's move on to the tabletop mode. The next mode we're going to check out is called tabletop mode. And the reason it's called tabletop mode is because the FS3X essentially becomes the trio, meaning that the mode switch works with the looper switch. It's the same as using the looper switch on the pedal itself. The up switch works as just as it should with the band switch. So basically the trio plus could be somewhere else on your pedal board, far away from your feet and quite inaccessible, but you can have all of the functionality of the trio right here. Uh, with the FS3X, so it makes it incredibly uh, powerful. Now, the down switch is used to toggle between parts. So if I press the down switch, I can toggle between the five parts that are available to me. Um, when I'm in live playback mode, it will let me switch between them. And also, if I press and hold the down switch, it will go into count off mode. So now, I can go ahead and press the up switch, and we'll get a count off, and it'll start playing back. If I want to switch parts, just like before, just press the down switch. You can see it's blinking, it's queuing up and ready to go. And as soon as it gets to the recycle point, it's going to switch to part two, which will come up right now.
Now the other thing too is the mode switch over here on the far left, and this functions just like the looper switch. So if I press this, you can see that it's queued up and ready to start recording. And you can also use it to punch in, punch out. Um, we're not gonna do that because we've already recorded our loop, but that's the basic idea. Okay, so now let's go to the live mixer mode. The final mode we're gonna have a look at is called live mixer mode. The reason it's called live mixer mode is because the FS3X will enable you to take away the bass or the drums or the bass and the drums. Now, one thing to note in this mode is that if you press and hold the down switch, nothing's gonna happen, so you don't get that count off. Now, if you want that count off, very simple, just simply press and hold the part. And you can now see that it's blinking. Um, so at this point now, if we press uh, play, there we go. Now, if we, let's say we wanna get rid of the bass. Just press and hold the mode switch. If we wanna get rid of the drums, press and hold the down switch. Let's say we wanna get rid of both. Very simple. So you can use it for dynamic song creation or playing in a live environment because the not the you know the, the drums and the bass aren't always playing back during a song. Maybe there's a moment where you just want the solo to happen. You want like the looper to play back, like it's doing right now, and then solo over that. Very simple to do. And in live mode, it makes that it makes it all the easier. So that's essentially the FS3X and how it functions with the Trio Plus. I highly recommend getting one of these if you're gonna get one of these. Um, it's just gonna make your life so much more fun uh, when using this pedal. We've gotten so much great feedback from our uh, followers and subscribers. Thank you very much for all the kind words and all the feedback and constructive criticism. We do appreciate all of it and it helps us make better content for you. So in any case, for more information on this pedal and the other pedals that we carry, please visit us at thepedalguide.com. Also be sure to follow us on Facebook and Instagram and please subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thanks.